Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's Weekend Whip, we're going to be working in one of these books, probably maybe a little bit in both of them. I'm not sure which one I want to do today, um, but I do know that I'm going to be working with some ink tents. And we, I do know I'm going to be drinking some of my tea because it's delicious. Okay, let me show you where I'm at. So I've got a whip going in here. Um, and I like the way that it's going so far. There's my inspiration sheet. That's what I've got so far on this guy. I feel like I could be doing some more stuff with this, but I don't know what I want to do really. Maybe I will add in some of the lines on the house today and do a little bit of shading on the house. Cause really I just have like the snow and then these little the little characters and it's and then like some shading on the the wall and the fence and stuff but i really like the way the trees looked turned out like i used ink tents i used ink tents only except for like the darker blue areas that's marker but the rest of it's all ink tents so far and i like the way that's turning out um yeah, let me grab just a couple of colors real quick. So I'm going to grab the slate gray. Sharp, give that guy a sharpen. And then we'll add in some lines on the house. Now these aren't going to be all the way across. And they're not going to be very dark. But I wanted to make sure that there were some lines on the house. So I do have my T ruler so that I can make sure all of my lines are parallel with each other, which is nice. And perpendicular to the side of the house. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like barely their lines. Like there's some slats on the, on the house. Uh, while I'm doing that, hi. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in your weekend. It is Friday afternoon for me. I have a little bit of tea here, um, but you know, made sure it was the decaf so I don't, so I'm able to sleep tonight. Um, I am feeling a little bit better today. Still have low energy, but um, I went to the store and I, you know, started dinner for my family and all kinds of stuff that I hadn't been able to do the past couple weeks. So I think on top of whatever was going on, I think I was sick on top of it and I just didn't realize it. Do you ever do that? Like you don't, <laughs> you don't realize you're sick. Maybe it was like a COVID kind of uh, virus or something. And I just didn't have like the normal symptoms. I just had like the extreme exhaustion. I don't know what was happening, but I feel better. Hoping I sound a little bit better to you guys. Um, thank you all for the well wishes to really means a lot. You guys are so sweet about making sure that I've I've got lots of positive thoughts uh, headed my way whenever I happen to mention that I'm under the weather. So I, I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. On the channel this week, I got the uh, first color along of the year is posted. So it is the, uh, it's my first Johanna Bassford color along, which uh, I think it's going to be very fun. Okay, I'm going to take this light gray, so this cool gray, and just kind of go right over the top of that. Uh, it's too dark. Let's see, use, I'm going to use the 20%. Um, yeah, and uh, I really like the way that it turned out. 
So I did the rabbit in Johanna's Christmas. Used a really pretty color palette, very soft, very um, cool winter colors. Um, yeah, and I was just, I really liked it. I really liked the way it turned out. So I'm hoping that it does well and that you guys like it. I did go through as well, since I was feeling a little bit better, and pick out the next two months color alongs so I know uh, what I'm gonna be working on. So that's pre-planning on my part, yay me. Um, I don't do that very often, <laughs> so, so that's good. Um, if you guys want to know, uh, the next color along, uh, next, or the color along next month is going to be in, um, Lost Ocean, because that's one of the books I have a little bit of trouble with, because it's not my favorite, but I found a, a page that's perfect for next month. So, that's going to be... That's going to be that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe I'll do a little bit of shading here underneath the... the overhang on the... the roof. Um, I am planning on doing a little bit of a, um kind of a color along on, on a farmer's miniatures page. Um, it's going to be similar to the ones that I did for, um, Halloween a couple years ago or one of, yeah, a couple years ago. So I'm going to do that. Um, hopefully and get that up later this month. Um, so that those of you who have been asking for that, you can kind of see my thought process with my, um, when I do those pages. Okay. I'm just kind of jumping around here and just looking around my page and figuring out what I want to work on. I don't really have a plan today. Uh, let's grab this. Let's grab this one. Come here, pencil. Uh, I don't even know what this one is. What number is this? 10, 12. This is Jasmine. Okay, I'm just going to darken up the, the yellow a little bit. It's not even very yellow. What else? And then I will attempt to... I think the next one that I should probably work on is the updated uh, Neo Color and Ink Tense. Those ones are going to take me a little bit longer just because I want to make sure that they're done right. You know, I don't want them to be rushed and I want to make sure that I have um, not only like. Like, I just don't want to repeat everything that I said from the first videos. Does that make sense? Like, I want to have things that would make sense for people to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I just don't want it to be just a complete um, repeat of the first video. Okay, so I'm just going to add some greenery around this little wreath here. Not sure how I want to do this. I don't want it to be super. I still want the, the red, the red bits to be the main focus, but I do want um, some greenery thrown in. Make some of those a little smaller so that they're not taking up so much of the real estate there. And then, then I make one bigger. 
Let's see. Uh, anything else channel-wise? I don't think so. Yeah, and then eventually I do want to get back into... Um, I want to do another this like I want to show showcase the um, my collection again this year I think what I might do is as I'm doing that I'm gonna go through and like declutter as I kind of share my stash with you guys just so we can I mean I just feel like that would be a good time to do it since I'm already going through all of those books I think I saw somebody do that I don't know if it was Emma colors that did that that way uh, if it was thanks Emma for the idea but yeah I thought that, that would be a good a good way to kind of go through my my stash and declutter a bit because I have I have too many books and not enough time and I just feel like you know, some of those books could go to people who would actually color in them, and I don't, um, I don't want them to just sit here and collect dust. So, yeah, might be a good time to do that too. Let's see, what do we think? That looks decent, right? Oh, let's do one out this way. That looks okay. All right, yeah, that looks okay. And then I don't really know what else to add to this one unless I add, maybe I'll just add some more leaves behind just so it looks like there's extra leaves poking out behind. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to make this look a little fuller. This is a good tip to a lot of um, Aries. Um, I do this with a lot of her trees and um, anytime she's got like leafy bits, I just add a little bit more foliage like right behind where she's already drawn it in just so it looks a little more full. Not that it doesn't already look great, but I just, I don't know, I feel bad, I, not better. I just feel like I like it more when it has that. I'm gonna do it all the way around, inside and outside, just to, some of them will stick out farther, some of them will be just, just peeking out. So, <laughs> I'm out of stuff to talk about already. <laughs> I um, finished that series that I was telling you guys about last week. So they, they, the majority of them, or maybe six of them out of the set, I think there were like 11 books. And like six of them out of the 11 were available on the... Um, the Kindle Unlimited, which if you don't have, I feel like it's a great deal. I mean, sometimes you get some some crazy out there books that are just not good, but sometimes you find some that are, you know, worth your time. And um, yeah, I, I finished all the ones that were quote unquote free, even though I, you know, I pay for the subscription. Um, and decided that I wanted to do, I wanted to read all of them. So I went and bought the rest of the books and I finished that series. So that's all done. So I'm trying now to find something else to read. But since that's all done, I'm also now able to focus a little bit more on coloring. So I'm not completely sidetracked by um, reading the whole time. It wasn't just like the fact that I was sidetracked. I mean, I really, I literally had no energy to do anything else. So it's not like I could really, you know, do anything. Let's see, we're gonna just go ahead and fill in these little bits. 
It's not too dark outside, so I don't want to have like a ton of light, but I do like the little lanterns. I like to have the lanterns lit. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so I'm going to use this silver. Just add a little bit at the top to this. At the bottom. And then all the hinges are going to be silver. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I also thought about trying to finish up a whip that I have that, that um, Henry's books whip that I have in here. So maybe I can work on that a little bit while this stuff is all out. I don't know which video I was talking about it in, but I was having a really hard time with the sky up here. And I thought I had been using ink tents, but then when I started using it on, when I started using the ink tents on the house and on the trees and the wall and everything, this all feels fine. It's like this crazy sky. I don't know if the paper like was different halfway through the process of making the book. I don't know what happened, but it felt, it feels different. It was reacting way different because these all blended perfectly fine. But for some reason, the sky was not cooperating. It doesn't look terrible, but it's not my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna grab the light, yeah, light umber. Uh, I think my brown and my gray kind of got um, mixed together here. So I need to add just a little bit of shading just to kind of darken that up so it's not so it doesn't look crazy crazy let's try no i don't want the bronze i'm literally just kind of <laughs> looking at my colors and trying to decide what would work the best right now this eggshell is a good one and then i think no, oh, I like that. So I'm just going to darken up a little bit of the browns. So I really liked the blue like shading on the house or this whatever. I, I think it was the Payne's gray and the, um, the ink tents, but I wanted to use some. Um, just wanted a little bit of brown in here too so that it looks like it's kind of an older rustic kind of house. I don't want it to just be blues. I also don't want it to look too dirty. I do like the just the eggshell on here. Interesting. Okay, I said we were going to work with ink tents tonight and I'm just playing with Prismacolors. <laughs> Let me grab my ink tents and we'll we'll do something. Um, I'll do. I want to do the snow. I think I'm going to do the snow with my prismas. Actually, um, I might use. Actually, I'm going to use this eggshell and kind of go over a couple places on the the slats because that'll make it that'll give it a little bit of a different look too not the same place on every one just to add some interest to the house because I I wanted it to I don't know when I first kept staring at the house I'm like I don't really know what I want to do how I want to color it so then I went online and I found all of these these cute little houses look how cute they are I love them so much, but I really liked the way that the colors were. Um, I loved these trees, which is kind of where I got the colors for this. Um, and then the whole color palette for this is what is what I wanted to do on the page. So, so that's my color palette. But and then I really loved this rock, like this little image with the rock wall here. I thought that looked good, but I wanted more blue in the rock wall too so yeah so maybe we'll put this aside and we'll work on um something else hold on a second i gotta 
I just feel like this is a, like a big clump now, like it's not gonna blend in enough. And I don't want just like a clump of brown, I want it to be spread out enough that it's not, I don't know, that it looks like it should be there. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. I like it. It's good. Okay. Yeah, and then this will take a little bit of pencil shading the wall will. And then I think I'll do, like I said, I'll do the snow with my prismas. And then use like these colors here on their little outfits. I think all the packages are gonna be like tan. Um, so it's like brown paper packages. I'm trying to make it a little less Christmas. I know there's the wreaths here and I did them in red, but um, yeah, I just really loved this page and I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it for a really long time. So I just decided that I, I just started started coloring the other day. Okay, so Million Magical Creatures. I did not color in this book last month, so I have two pages picked out. So I have this one, and I have mm, this one. I have an idea for the colors on this one already, so I think I'm gonna wait on that. But this one I was I wasn't sure, so I went through and I printed up just a bunch of color palettes that I really liked that I got off of Pinterest. I'm very drawn to this one and making the little, um, the, the dragon unicorn guy look like this bird. I thought that would be fun. And then using those colors kind of throughout the castle maybe. Let's try it, and let's try it with ink tents and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so I need, we're looking for these colors here. So let me grab my color chart, and we'll see what we got. Um, so the tangerine would be a great one. So I will grab that and then probably um, the crimson and then maybe like the cherry or the carmine. Let's try the carmine. And then a nice, um, either the, yeah, like the deep indigo is a good, um, I'll look for that too. All right, let's let's grab those and then we'll see what we got. Where is it? Hello, there it is. All right, we're gonna give it a go. I think I don't know if I want to make his face look like that though. I think I just want like. Like the rough here, I want it to be the red, and then I want it to go into orange on the back part of him. And I want his wings to kind of be similar to that. I don't know, maybe I should just completely do the, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, all right, so we start with pinks. Let's start with pinks. So we'll just have some of the pink come up this way. So the crimson is the lighter one. And if you use it pretty lightly, it's a nice light pink. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Not, not, a ton guys really I'm I'm sorry I'm so boring this week <laughs> I 
I mean, at least I'm not complaining about stuff. I guess that's, that's better, right? Like it's not, nothing's terrible. I'm feeling better. So that's good. Um, Yeah. Uh, my brother had his birthday and um, he's going to come over today and uh, play some games with my, well, I, I might be able to pop in a little bit, but I already told him, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to play. Um, but I made sure he had, they had snacks and we have a cake for him and, uh, a couple of his presents showed up. They're not all here yet, which is upsetting, but I'm not too, I'm not too grumpy about it yet. All right. That's building. And this is dragon, dragon parts. So I'm going to continue the orange down into here, but I do want to add a little bit of pink in that, I think, too. Uh, and then I want like a light blue. Let's grab the iris blue, and we'll do a little bit of blue on his rear end. <laughs> And then up his back, we'll do a little bit of blue. I have no idea if this is going to work. This is completely um, an experiment, and we'll see how it goes. We shall see, we shall see. Um, I kind of like the pink on the ears, too. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I'm excited to see if this will work. Okay, do I have enough water in here? I do. So I'm using my Pentel Aqua Brush. I love this thing. Um, it's been a little temperamental, temp, temperamental lately, but um, it's been working pretty good when it does work. <laughs> All right, so let's just get a little bit of blue there. Okay, that should fade a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna push the orange away from it so it doesn't blend into the blue. Pick up some of that pink too. Um, I think this is going to be cute, actually. <laughs> now I'm excited. I don't use ink tents very often in these books because they're hit or miss for me, usually. Um, I did use them on a couple of pages and really had a good time with it, but it doesn't always work, so... I'm not sure if the tangerine was the right color. Maybe I should have gone with the lighter orange. Uh, let's see. What else? Man, I feel um, pretty bad that I am not, not a chatty Kathy today. Is that a term that you guys have outside of the United States? I would really like to know. I, and for those of you who, if you didn't hear it, I said um, a chatty Kathy. So it's basically somebody who talks a lot. I mean, I'm sure that was implied, but just in case you hadn't heard that, that phrase before. Yeah, so the other thing that happens a lot of the times is I get these little dots um, and it's the paper, I know it is, but it's frustrating sometimes because it doesn't happen every time I use this. Okay, I don't hate it. Let's keep playing. We're gonna use the, um, the. no, I don't want the deep indigo. I want the navy blue. Yeah, 
on with the navy blue and we're gonna use that on the hair. Do that really quick. It normally happens when I use too much water. If I keep my water um, output at a minimum, then the ink tents tend to work pretty good in this book. So um, if you happen to have those Tombow blenders and have ever tried um, your ink tents with your Tombow blenders, um, then that would be, this would be a great uh, time to use those. Okay, now I want my deep end to go back, I think. Let's use those here. Then we'll use the navy. Um, Colorfully Optimistic, Corey has a great couple of video tutorials about how to use the um, the Tombow blenders with your ink tents if you're interested. It does take a little bit more. You do have to blot your uh, marker quite a bit. Like, I mean, you still have to blot your, um, your paint, your water brush here, but with the marker, you really have to make sure that there's absolutely no color on it in between um, blending sections so you do have to work a little smarter but it still ends up looking very cool she uses that technique a lot when she wants to use ink tents on like Teresa Goodridge pages and things like that um, yeah Well, this isn't looking terrible. I don't know that ink tents were the best for this, but kind of worked, kind of, kind of. All right, let's do the rest of the wings. I'm just gonna keep going with it. We're just, we're just, we're in now. We're in. Okay, um, I'm gonna do, yeah, these are gonna be dark. So we're gonna do deep indigo, and then I'm gonna go into Payne's gray at the base. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, I did release, what else, what other videos are out there that I put out? I did my, so if you haven't seen them, the videos I've had out lately are, uh, the color along, full color along is up there now, so it's a two-part video. Um, and like I said, it is the rabbit from Johanna's Christmas. Um, you can find a picture of it on my community tab if you're interested, or you can just pop over and watch the videos. Um, I've got my Eager in Review from 2023, which was really fun to make. And then I also have my coloring plans for 2024, which is kind of where I talk a little bit more about, um, you know, the Johanna Basford plan. Um, and if you haven't seen that, basically, I'm just trying to do a color along in each of her books this year. So each month, I'm hoping to have a color along in her books. We'll see how it goes. Very hopeful that it's going to happen. Okay. All right, let's see how we did. 
let's color some wings. Um, I'm going to turn the book again. This is a very turny, <laughs> turny episode. So hopefully uh, I'm not making you guys like motion sick or anything. Um, but yeah, and then I also talk about like my books to finish list and um, things like that. So go ahead and just go all the way down these two feathers. The Payne's Gray is a nice, cool gray. It's almost like a super, super dark blue. Um, which I just thought would be great to do with the, um, the deep indigo. I could also use some black at the ends to make it even darker, which I might do. I might do that with colored pencil. I haven't decided on that yet, but I think this is really going to be cute, actually. I can kind of see it now. It does look a lot brighter when you first do uh, the color, lay down the color, too, and then once it dries, it definitely lightens up quite a bit um, so you do have to kind of keep that in mind when you're first working like sometimes you'll look at it and be like oh my god I've ruined it but because now I'm looking back at that blue and I made that comment earlier where I thought I wanted it lighter and it's lighter now it looks kind of like I was hoping Um, I have quite a few buddy colors lined up uh, in the next couple of months, so uh, I will probably be putting a hold on um, any more buddy colors for a little while. I know myself, and I know that if I have, you know, too many going at once, I will definitely start to panic about it and feel like stress about it and that's not what the coloring is for for me so um yeah just just an FYI for people out there thank you so much to everybody for reaching out to me though I really appreciate it um yeah happy to have those those ones lined up I have a couple for this month a couple for next month even a couple lined up for March already. So, so that's good. Yeah, I just want to get this little, this little dragon guy done with the ink tents and then we can kind of compare how I did to the cute little bird. <laughs> okay. What do we think? It's a pretty good pretty good likeness, right? Yeah, I think it was a good call not to put that color on his face. I don't know that that would have looked great. But I like the I like the orange into the pink. I want more pink there. I might use like my pencils to brighten that up instead of the ink tents though. So I feel like it's going to get too textured. Oh, I have to do his tail. <laughs> I still have to do his tail. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to do a start light blue and then start with light. And then go to, where's the navy? Go to navy. And then go 
to the deep indigo. And then to the Payton's Gray, which will go all the way down to the base here. All right, let's try that. Again, I gotta flip this so that I can push the color the right way because I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. That's one of my my most used tips for coloring with ink tents is I always go lightest to darkest when I'm blending. All right, this is this is interesting. I think I'll probably add some fun um, metallic paints and stuff for like the swirls in the sky too. I think that'd be really fun. I'll blend that a little bit better once it dries, but. All right, well, there he is. And there's the little birdie. I think that turned out cute. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what we're, we're gonna, we're gonna end there because I'm just kind of repeating myself. So again, I'll show you the little, little house I worked on. So we drew in the slats, colored in some of the greenery. That looks cute. I was gonna work on the shading, um, but I know that's so boring for you guys to watch and I wanted something for you to actually see me do instead of just sitting and listening to me chat. On days when I have a lot to chat about, then yeah, we can we can do something that's kind of mind numbing and uh, actually have a chat, but today I didn't really, didn't really have that. So this should dry lighter. I'm hoping. Yeah, it will. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> That's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love um, doing these with these weekend whips with you. Uh, and I appreciate you all so much. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.